Hi, in these next few videos, we're going to write a blackjack game using everything we've learned about data structures, about classes, about program design. We're going to start off by writing the card class. Here's just a quick overview of the classes that we'll be writing. We'll be writing a card, which represents one card. We'll be writing a deck, which represents a deck of cards. We'll be writing a hand class, which represents a hand that a player has in a blackjack game, which has a collection of cards as well as a game which manages the logic for playing. So let's go explore this in the editor and write a card class. Okay, so we're gonna write a card class here. We just have two files, um, public class card, card.java, and card tester, which is our console program. Um, for this one, we are only starting off with just a few constants that'll make the program a little bit easier to write. So um, what we're going to do with card is try and create a class that represents a playing card. So what are our instance variables? That's always really the first question to think about. Well, a card has a few things. A card has a rank. A card has a suit. And a card has a value. So why do we want all three? Well, suit. Uh, that's one of hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. We're representing those all as ints to make it easy to use. Uh, rank, that'll be, you know, is that a two, three, four, jack, queen, king, ace? Um, that's, that's the rank. But the value, the value's a little bit different. In blackjack, jack, queen, king, and ace, those have the value of 10. Or not, ace doesn't have a value of 10, but jack, queen, and king have the value of 10. So those are our instance variables. And then we'll start off with, and then we'll write our constructor. So uh, we'll say public card, we'll say int r, int s, and here we'll say the rank is equal to r and the suit is equal to s. So that's what we're gonna use to make a card. We'll use the rank and the suit. So we'll say something like, you know, it's the two of spades. That's how you can go and construct a card. So the next thing we'll do is we will write, um, We'll write some getter methods. So we'll write a getter method for the rank. So we'll say public int get rank. And we'll return the rank. And then we'll say public int get suit. And we'll return the suit. Um, and the next thing we'll do is we'll try and think about how to represent this as a string. So we'll say public string to string. So what we really want to do here is get a string for the rank. We want to get a string for the suit and then combine those. So right now our, our instance variables are ints, but we need them to be strings. So how are we going to do this? Um, hmm. This is a really good question. So there's, there's a bunch of ways we can do it, but somewhere we, we want to actually store um, what, those, what those suits are, uh, a string representation of those suits. And the method we'll use here is we'll use a string array. So we'll say private string array of suits, and the suits that we have are hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. So there's a couple important things that I'm doing here. One, we just want it to be just one character strings, just so they're all consistent. But I'm writing these in the same order um, and with the same indices as our constants. So if you index into this array with the constant value, you can get that suit. So suits of hearts is H, so we get that properly. So to get a string for the suit, we'll say, you know, suit string equals uh, suits of suit, right? Because suit, that's the current int value. So we also want the, the string for the rank. And so for a lot of these, these are just numbers, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. But what about jack? You know, jack, queen, king, ace, what do we want those to be stored as? And so we, we, for jack, we would want j, for queen, we want q, you know, for king we want K, we really want a similar thing that we want um, 
for suits. And since we need a string, we also want a string representation of those numbers. Um, and so the way that we'll do it is we'll use a similar array. But we'll use a little trick uh, so we can keep that, that uh, index mapping working. So we'll say um, private string array of ranks equals, and then we'll use an initializer list, and I'll say two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, ace. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, there's one issue though, which is that we want to preserve the index mapping. So if I said ranks of two, we'd actually get the string for four. So that's not what we want. Um, so I'll add a buffer up at the front. I'm going to add a couple X's so that everything now maps properly. Um, oops. Everything now maps properly to its index. So the string two is at index two, the string three is at index three, et cetera, et cetera. And the string jack is at index 11, uh, and 12 king ace just like what we have up here. So now to get the string from the rank we can say string rank string equals ranks of rank. Then we'll return um, rank string plus suit string. Okay so at this point uh, what we want to do is test that out. So we'll say card, um, uh, we'll make a two of hearts equals new card, and we'll say it's a two of hearts. And then we'll try printing it out. Oh, we have a little typo. Forgot a semicolon. And there you go. We get the two of hearts. So let's test some other uh, other ones that that show some of our edge cases. So we'll say card ace of spades equals new card ace spades. And we'll print out that card. Great, and so we're gonna add a few other helper methods to make this card class as useful as possible. So one we're gonna add is, we're gonna, those basically we're gonna write utility methods to convert the rank integer into a string. So we'll say public string rank to string of int r, and then I'll return ranks of r, and then public string suit to string of int s, and that'll return suits of s. And then we'll write a method to get the suit as a string. So say public string get suit as a string, and that'll return suit to string of suit. And we'll do one more public string get rank as string and then we'll return uh, rank to string of rank. So we've just given ourselves a few more helper methods. Let's go back and do a little more testing. So let's try um, seeing ace of spades dot get suit as string. Great. And let's also try to get the rank as a string. Great. Let's make a couple other cards. So we'll say card nine equals new card, and we'll make that a nine of diamonds, and we'll print out the nine. Cool. And we can keep doing testing, but one last test I'll write is I'll say,
for int i equals zero, i is, well, actually we don't want to start at zero, we want to start at two. Uh, i is less than or equal to ace, i plus plus. And this is another one of the reasons we use constants that go from the numbers two to ace, is that then we can also use it a for loop, because after 10, it'll go to 11, 12, 13, and 14. So for, uh, for two up to ace, let's make a card called c, and we'll say it's a new card, which is uh, the rank is i, and the suit will be clubs. And then we'll try printing out that card. So we're doing a little more robust testing. Oops, forgot all and i equals two. So let's run that again. Okay. So now you can see what we have. We have our initial cards, and then we have our for loop. Two of clubs, three of clubs, four of clubs, all the way down, jack of clubs, queen, king, and ace. So this is looking pretty good. Um, and there's a couple other testers we need to, we haven't tested our, um, we should test our get rank. We can test get rank. So we'll try one more test on get rank. So we'll say system.out.println9.get rank. Great. Um, is there anything missing from our card class? Uh, the card has a rank, the card has a suit, we have a two string representation, we have a handful of utility methods. Um, the last thing that's happening is we have value. We have value here. So, how can we write a get value method? So, we'll say public int get value, um, and how are we going to do that? So basically, the value starts off as the rank. That's our initial assumption. It's true for the numbers 2 to 10. But if the rank is greater than 10, so if we're talking about jack, queen, king, then we'll cap that value at 10. and return the value. So yeah, so the ace is a special case. The ace is a special case. Um, and for the ace, we'll start off by saying if the rank is equal to ace, uh, we'll say the value is 11. And it, the value can also be 1 in certain cases, but this is a good assumption to start off for now. So we'll test that last part out. We'll say system.out.println 9.get value. I'll print out a little separator. And we'll also test out the ace get value. So we'll say system.out.println ace of spades dot get value. And we can see, so we have the two of hearts, we have the ace of spades, it has a value of 11, it has, um, it's a spade, is the suit, the rank is an ace. Then we have our nine of diamonds, uh, which has, this is the rank and the value. Then we've gone through our uh, creating a bunch of clubs. So this is our card class. It's pretty good, and this is what we'll use as we go on and try and make a deck.